Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light in the song! He left something behind to help me. The Clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the Clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Hello everyone, welcome to the final episode of Alan Wake Episode 6 Departure. Even though it's not the final episode, but for the main game. Let's pick up the glasses. There we go. <sighs> The now. sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. Now we're styling. Get sunglasses and painkillers. <gasps> Is this Max Payne? Which I will be playing on the channel, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Where's Alice? The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. Okay. Let's see. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. I will right, press that momentarily. Let's see what we have here. There's more books that I've made. Eat to listen to message. I will in a second. I'm pretty positive there's probably some sort of note or thermos around here. Maybe. I mean, I've gotten a coffee thermos here before, but we'll stop in the developers from adding another one. Seems like a whole lot, to be honest with you. All right. That sucks. All right. What we got? Is it Alice? You have one new message. Ow! Oh. Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your TiVo. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it. Yeah, she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Al, look, I'm saying this as your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show. Turn on the TV. I didn't know writers have parties that they get so drunk. Anyways, turn on. Oh, it's not Night Springs. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Harry Garrett Show. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about it. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. <laughs> well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. 
With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. <laughs> well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good, great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Well, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. <laughs> Well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Okay, I'll Ladies go. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. What's more, do the face for his Sam. There he is. And our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you, and good night. At least I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. I didn't say anything stupid if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. Damn. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? I should have followed her advice. But suddenly I was angry, mostly at myself. And she was there, a convenient victim. Let me actually just say, I did buy the Alan Wake book on the uh, Google Play books. Now you can't even talk way. to me? Well, <laughs> this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid sentence. You didn't say what day. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal and you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan. You're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. That's not a good idea. I would strongly advise you not to go on vacation. So if he... Bright Falls, the present day. If he's that successful, then right. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. If he's that sir. I'm going Shut back up. to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Good luck, Al. See you later. Damn, you just point a gun on her like that? If he's when that- got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flick the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Am I allowed to talk now? If he's that much of a successful writer, why do they have an apartment and not a house? How much is the rent or to own in New York? How much is that? Actually, it's probably quite a bit being in that type of city. Alone, in daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. With a gun out. It was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this. Having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed, there would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. This guy's just out in broad daylight with a gun. Verizon. I don't know if I can show that. <laughs> Does this say anything on the... on here? No? Buckle up, it's the law, boy. Uh, what do we have for manuscripts? Oh, there's not a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. 
I wasn't expecting that. Is there anything back over here? I'm not going to go the full way. I'm just going to see if I can spot anything. Down. Uh, I don't see anything, but that looks like it's cut off. Right? Maybe? I can run. Okay, I'm going the full way. I'm committed. So there's not a lot of pages. How long is this chapter then? Can't be that long. Okay, no, I just see... It's just a log truck down here. Alright, yeah, it's blocking the path. Would have been nice if they had it up a little farther so I wouldn't go all that way, but... So be it. I got some flares and some flashbangs. So that's good. Obviously, we're going to have another instance where it's going to be nighttime. But yeah, as I was saying, I did buy the book. So I think I'm going to read it even though I played the game. I, I read like the first couple sentences. And it seems to be word for word for this game, but... The fact that it's a book and this story is quite amazing. I don't even care how it looks. I mean, it looks fine. It's from 2010, so you got to think about that. So, yeah, for what it is, this is a really great game. I'm very excited for the sequel. As I've been playing this, I've just been anticipating that sequel. Hopefully it's not going to be a letdown. I don't think it will be. It's been 13 years, so I'm sure they've had time to think of a story. And obviously, new age graphics and whatnot. Energizer. But yeah, still, look at this. Looks amazing. And the fact that you can drive as well. That's even cooler. Oh, we got a pit stop here. Seems like we only get... Pages at night. Oh, we got a checkpoint. Batteries. I don't have a flashlight, though. The Majestic. All right, nothing else here. All right, well, let's go back on the road. You know what? Let's take this vehicle. <laughs> Alan Wake. The carjacker. Pretty much just glancing over to see if I see anything. I won't get out this time. Oh, we do have a hidden uh, chest. Alright, I'll get out. Alice can wait a bit. She's been there a long time. And we got the shotgun. Okay. That's good. I wonder if it's like gearing me up, getting me ready for the final fight. Right, here we go. I probably could have brought the truck down here. Or Jeep or SUV or whatever have you. Yeah, I think the pages only appear at night. Because there's been a couple times when you've played during the day and there's nothing. Alright. Okay. Let's head back up and continue on down the road, shall we? There's nothing else, no other thermos around. How many more thermoses do I even need? Thermos, thermos. Oh wow, still quite a bit. Half the pyramids. There's one more TV show I need to find. Ooh. Is there one more Night Springs show? Or did I miss it? Like, alarm clocks and video games. Like, wh I have no idea where they are. Manuscript pages, well... We almost need 20 more. Like 24 more or something like that. <clears throat> By the end of this, it should just be like... I'm trying to think of math right now. Probably, I don't know. I'm not going to try it. I'll just hurt myself and make myself look like a fool. What the hell? Okay. Let's carry on. Got a little barn right here. Can 
Can I go inside? Ah, there you go. See? There's stuff hanging around. Luckily, I got the shotgun, though. Happy about that. Well, let's carry on. Well, I think I'm walking from here. Yeah, seems like it. All right. Checkpoint reached. Ooh. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Oh, what the hell? That was that's not very nice. That was good. Yeah, see, page right there. Like I said, only comes out during the day. Night. Night day. Night for me is cr actually day, because I work nights. Why is there a crow just standing by it? Okay. Did you write this? Quoth the raven? The Dark Presence wants to stop Wake. The Dark Presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane. Something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the rider from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. All right. I'm like a bird. Oh, and I got a heavy-duty flashlight, too. Sweet. Okay, at least we got a car here. Don't have to walk the entire way. Checking to see if there was a thermos. I wasn't expecting a page, but maybe a thermos by a log. You gotta thank loggers and people. Why, why would they have a car so close to each other like this? Do they really just say, hey, pick your favorite? Oh. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Oh. Okay, he's fine. He won't hurt me. Who's this down here? I didn't see Nightingale again, though. That's the thing. I wonder where he went. Obviously, he went through flying through the door, but... <laughs> that guy's very committed. Running all the way up here to me. Trying to spot another note. Because they might be a little harder to come across now since there's only five more. Unless they're all going to be in, like, my path. There's that option, too. Okay, there's got to be something in here. Nothing there. Nothing there. No. Oh, here we go. What is? What was all that? Oh. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. Oh, that was a hunting rifle I picked up. Okay, that was a shotgun. What's this? The Majestic Motel. General information. Refundable $100 security deposits is required on all reservations. No personal checks accepted. We take all major credit cards and bank cards. Checkout time is 10 a.m. No loud music. No pets. One vehicle per unit. Facilities are for registered guests only. No visitors are allowed on the premises after 9 p.m. No exceptions. We hope you enjoy your stay at the Majestic. If you're a senior or a vet, ask about our discounts. Pfft. Okay. You have an entrance here. There's got to be a coffee thermos, like, laying around this joint somewhere. Aha! What'd I say? So, what'd they say? Nightingale number two? Something like that? Oh. 
Revolver ammo. Are those pictures of me? No, those pictures of... Yeah. Me and Alice? And Barry, what the hell? This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Huh. Nothing in there? You'd think there'd be a page. Not gonna say anything about the photos? Look after yourself and your co-workers. Could have fooled me, pal. What the hell? Just throwing axes? What is that? What is with everybody throwing axes in this game? Oh, can I make that? Can I hit that as a jump? I can't even go in that car. Oh, this might be a cool jump I can make. Oh, I kind of want to do it. I want to do it. Everyone bear with me. It's technically the finale of the game, so... <laughs> Let me just enjoy my last moments. Even though there's two more videos left. Okay, that little anticlimactic. Anything over here? Got a note. No, nope, nothing there. Manuscript, no, whatever you want to call it. Uh, nothing there. I'm just being thorough, that's all. Okay, well, let's carry on. What? Okay. I didn't even see that truck even come at me. Okay, everything's flying at me now. Ooh. Maybe I should just kill those guys, but, you know. Sometimes it's valuable to just run. And we got a checkpoint anyway, so they despawned, it sounded like. Alright, let's pick up the one singular flare. What the hell is that shining right there? Oh, okay, that wasn't very nice. Okay. Everybody needs to chill for a second. Okay. Is there anything gonna pop up behind me? Oh! Higher. That reminds me of that one movie called uh, Rubber. It was, uh, I guess, a horror movie, if you want to call it that. But it was about a killer tire that just went around killing everyone. It was actually pretty good, to be honest with you. Oh. Oh. Just nearly dodged it. Where'd it go? Whoa! All right, there you go. Not seeing much else of anything here. The thermos. Uh huh. Ooh. Come on. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Nice to see you too. Talk about complete darkness right there. And we got a car waiting for us. How lovely. How thoughtful of the darkness to leave me a car. Don't worry everyone, you'll have your turn.
Oh, I missed you. Hey, weird. I'm stuck. Derby now? I'm trying to just see if there's anything else up here. Doesn't seem like it. I kind of wonder if these last six pages are just going to be noticeable. my way. You know what I mean? Oh, we'll go over there. Oh, what was that? Oh, just a car. Everything that's shining, I'm getting like, oh, what's that? Shiny. Where's this lead? That's actually where I gotta go. So wait, what was the barn over here? Why was that glowing? Ooh. He just got wrecked. Is there a truck in there? Oh man. Shining so brightly. Another flare? Why am I just getting these singular flares? Got a checkpoint. And I guess that would despawn all the enemies too. Stepping into the light. That is a bright light, man. Jeez. Right, let's get in this truck then. I'm gonna hit that car though. Well, no I'm not. Because I'm a good driver. Did we saw him at that barn over there? Oh, there's a thermos. Is there anything inside it, though? Well, not the thermos. I'm at the cabin. No, okay. Oh, hello. Ooh. Get in. forgotten. He will be in my prayers. Okay. Here we go. Alrighty. Look, I saw down here after me too. Talk about dedicated darkness shadow taken. Okay, there's like way too much commotion. I would assume... Oh, I guess I'm going out this way. We got ourselves another blockage. I would assume that the pages are all going to be scattered in front of me. Easily seeable. What the hell? That wasn't very seeable. Can I drive that? No, okay, I just gotta walk through this. Walk through the goop. Yeah. 
Holy hell. Okay then, at least that was a checkpoint. Alright, we'll try that again. Please do not mess up this time. Maybe instead of running from them, maybe I will try and fight them. <laughs> maybe that's a valuable option here. Where did you come from? Shotgun ammo. Oh, revolver ammo. Almost missed that. Get as much of that as I can since I'm using it. So, what happens if you don't get the shotgun? Will they, like, give it to you later on, or...? Where'd this guy go? There you are. Oh. I heard... Oh! someone behind me. Here's some people behind me. Did I kill them? Oh! Okay, just as I go to dodge, I get hit with it. I saw a page two. If this is the second one, then yay. If not, I guess I'm backtracking. Okay, yeah. The bottom of Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long ago crashed airplane there, trees shattered under the impacts, the earth groaned, it didn't even notice. All right, and that one was the Trail of the Dark Presence. Yeah, so it seems like it's just going to lay them out for me, aren't they? So that other stuff is probably just looking for coffee thermoses and whatnot. At least for now. Fest. All right, let's go through here. Crash into some stuff while we're at it. Sounds like a good idea. Oh, this is actually a secret area. Oh, I know, I have to go this way. There was a secret. Where was that pointing? Okay, there's the other arrow. Checkpoint reached. Cool. There might actually be some else hidden here. All right, what we got? Flashbang, flare, flare. Okay. Might actually be a thermos in this area. Yeah, like I said, I think they're just laying out these last couple of pages for me to find. Since it's ending the story, might as well, right? Obviously, I can't get a couple of them due to me having to play nightmare mode. Okay, we're going to have a fight in here.
Seriously, throw that to the wall. That was kind of cheap. There, there's a thermos. We got some batteries. Anything through this door? Oh. Okay. We have it upstairs. Oh, to open the gate. Okay. More flashbangs, a flare gun. Anything out here? Oh. Okay, what is my aim? What? Jeez. We're gonna pretend I didn't just take like a full clip to do that. There you go. Alright, we'll go down these stairs. Oh. I guess I gotta win the other way. Go on this car. Oh, I didn't even notice him back there. about a junkyard like this has got to be the hardest spot to spot stuff are we gonna have a show down here maybe what am I doing in here I see the button there. I had to get the container out of my way. There had to be a way to power up the container lift. Uh, okay. Oh, what was that in there? Can I go in there? I can. Beautiful. And there's a page. Thomas Zane's last dive. Zane cut its heart out, but it didn't die. The thing that wore Barbara's face kept crooning sweet nothings sugar-laced with poison. He put on the suit, untied the monster from the chair. The thing in his arms thrashed weakly, but he held fast. He stepped outside, off the pier, and into the dark water, a sinking pinprick of light descending toward a bottom that never came. Okay. I am a little concerned about this one right here. Normally, these ones down here are the harder ones to find that I, I have been noticing that. So, there's only like two more regular ones that should be in my path. And then one, uh, one that might be a little harder to find. But that's just my little theory. It might not be. Maybe I'll come across it next. Who knows? All I know is I got three more to find. Flare, flare, flare. The hell? Oh wow, it's been a while since I've done one of these. <sighs> ah! Okay. I broke it. Actually, I did break something. Oh. Holy sh... That actually made me jump a little. I am not gonna lie right there. Oh, of course. Oh my god! Okay. Bad enough I got a bulldozer here, man. Oh! Oh, my legs! I didn't realize I had the flare gun equipped, but that helped. 
Okay, let's just get to this. Where's the button, Wake? Well, okay, that's gonna take a minute. Let's get in the broken down ass truck. Go, 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 go. Better not fall. Uh, that should count as a checkpoint. I think I have to be out. Yeah. Can I get in this car? I truck, whatever. Alright. Back at it. Cauldron Lake can't be too, too far now, right? Got a little pit stop right here. There's another checkpoint. Yeah. Very uh, forgiving for checkpoints in this game. Which I like. When I told Barry my plan back in the well-lit room, I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. That you wrote her in. Okay, anything back here? Thermos? There could have been a thermos right there. Come on, game. There's 106 of them. You can put one there. Follow. Alright. I actually found that secret chest without having to, uh... Look for the arrows, as well. Drop down. Break a leg. Revolver ammo is full. Nothing else around. Okay, wait. Where the hell am I going? Oh, I gotta push that. Oh, I can actually shine that while I'm doing this. That's pretty cool. I was about to say, how far you gotta push that, man? Nothing here. Maybe the other collectibles don't become available until you beat the game and you go through it again. Okay, we got a fight going down here. Shotgun ammo. Pump action shotgun. Hell yeah. Why the hell wouldn't I? That shit fires quick. Oh yeah, we got a fight coming down here. I will never give her to you. Jesus. Every time I... Ooh, what the hell? I see a thermos in here. Gimme, gimme. Oh. A guy with a chainsaw? That I don't like. Jeez, it took quite a bit of bolts there. What's that gun up there? Oh, just a regular shotgun? I'll stick to my pump action, thank you very much. Even though I'm not using it right now. Ain't nothing around there. What's going on now? Okay, really? These guys have like some sort of magical freaking aim. Okay, what are you doing? Charging at me like a rhinoceros. Oh, 
hole. Okay, sir. Oh. Alan, can you load your gun, please? Thank you. Now what? Okay, let's get the shotgun out. Oh, I just realized this thing right here. What the heck? I saw that coming at me. I went to dodge. Nice. Now that's over, I can use it. Or I go to use it now that it's over. There, got some more stuff there. Anything in here? No. Okay. That took quite a bit of ammo, to be honest with you. <clears throat> Sorry, that was a quite a nasty little sniffle. Oh, I see a page. I was about to say, I don't have to push it all the way. Give me that page. The dark place. The dark place I found myself in was unlike anything I could ever have imagined. It wasn't solid. It flowed. It was conceptual and subjective. For someone else, an artist in another field, it would have been very different. I could sense the story of the manuscript all around me. The words and ideas floating in the air, poised to become real. I actually wonder if the book has all those manuscripts in there. That'd be pretty cool. Like a different style text or whatnot. Or maybe it all is in the book. They just put together properly. To make a nice coherent story. I'm not going down there, am I? No, I'm going this way. Why am I going in the direction of the stuff? Normally someone's behind me. No. Ooh, they're switching it up on me. Really just one enemy? Huh. Okay. Weird. I could see Mirror Peak in the distance. That's where Cauldron Lake was. <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. Gonna go save our wife. Then we're probably gonna have a fight. And then I'll push her in the water again. And then we'll be back to square one. Am I going in that? Am I taking a minecart? Am I dropping down into that? What? <clears throat> Am I just dropping in? I guess so. Release the brake. Pull the lever, crunk. Ah, uh, yes, that makes sense. Probably right after I exit this little barrier right here. Oh, look at that. They're coming already for me. Damn crows. Really? Just that little... Whoa. I wonder if there's a time for that. Really, just that one attack? Huh. That kind of seemed a little anticlimactic. Guess I'm going through there. Maybe. Well, I'm going. What? Oh, well, we got a secret here. Got a secret. Got a secret. Oh yeah, we're getting a lot of stuff. Right, I guess I gotta went that way. That was probably actually where the arrows are pointing. Right, we gotta bring our arse back up there now. Yeah. Okay. Actually, is there? Oh, I don't even see any arrows. All right. 
Let's climb up this ladder. Nothing over there. Oh. Come on, Alan. Use those muscles. Get a run and start. There you go. That was a nice shot. I got a crap load of them right there. Oh, what's up? What's going on? What the hell? There are people up there? Did it just like kick in or something? Oh, what the hell? Oh, we have some of the uh, goop. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. I should also have gotten rid of that stuff. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's a page right there. That's actually the last main page, ain't it? Oh, wow, man. Every single glowing light. I always got to think of a page. Okay, we have an area to go this way. All right. What we got here? Well, we got some stuff that I can pick up. Sweet. Nothing in behind here. No. Okay. We must be getting close to the end. I can feel it in my jellies. All right. Oh, hello. Were you driving that? Guy's going all over the place. He's crazy. Lovely. Oh, my mouse freaking hit my keyboard. He's taken care of. Of course. Just get out of my way. Ain't nobody got time for you. That guy like ran me in circles. Yeah. Whew. Anything for me to grab? Yeah, actually everything there. Would have been nice if there was some more revolver ammo. I'm running low on a little bit of everything here. Whoa! Oh, another one.
Oh, I think I got him. I think I got him with that. Cool. That thermal sight. Is that a thermos I saw? It was. Really can't grab her from there? Take that. That might have been a waste. Got this last guy just running around now. There you go. I got him. He's no match for my flashlight. Ugh, I gotta blow, blow my nose. Ooh. Hi. Are we going in slow motion right now? Slow motion for me, baby. There you go. Checkpoint reached. Yeah. Okay, I know you need the revolver ammo, man. Grab that. Alright, we going up here? Oh. Snap my neck there, don't you? Oh, oh. oh, she really wants me dead. But she ain't playing around. I'm starting to have some doubt that I'm fighting the TV. So I can watch that last Night Springs thing. to use those. Actually, maybe the last one, if the, if my house, if that cabin on the lake, if that shows up, maybe that's going to have the last one. Oh, okay. You can't tell me that does not look like an area I can explore. Okay. I shouldn't mess around. I might get stuck. Last thing I want to do is get stuck. Huh. Alright. Get that goop out of here. Alright. Got ourselves a little checkpoint. Nothing else I could see. Okay. Let's go in here. Oh, hello. I mean, this really isn't... Would that classify as a secret area? It's kind of weird if it is. Been a while since I've come across a note. I don't see one, do I? Uh, no. But this looks like a fight. What is this, like a lighthouse? Or an old windmill? Coffee thermos. See, now that makes sense. People were working on that. They'd have coffee. 
Got any electricity right there. Alrighty. <clears throat> Let's grab this. Okay, don't need anything else. Ammo for my revolver is good. I needed to get the generator running. Where is said generator? Okay, there's one. Okay, you're giving me a flashbang. What are you trying to tell me, game? Chainsaw guy, that's what you're trying to tell me. Maneuver. Of course, there's a fast guy. Come on, come on. Oh, I'm in the light. Sweet. All right, we go. Oh, they sound a little mad. Oh well. They could be mad all they want. Uh oh. No bueno. <gasps> it's there. It's looking at me. The way through the dark place. After Zane had gone, I stood alone in the shifting dream that was the dark place. I had to find a way to the cabin. I'd written myself a way through this place in the manuscript. I followed the idea of a path. I had written myself across the ocean that blocked my way, and with that, there was a bridge to the island beyond. The idea of the cabin flickered in the underwater darkness. I willed the cabin to be real, and it was. Ooh. Did you also have the last TV show? <laughs> there we go. I mean, there's still one more note that I could possibly- now. We need to stop that. I need to stop playing this in the dark with my door open. Okay. Whoa! Where's that barrel? There it is. Really? That kind of ticks me off right there. Oh. Alright. Well, let's head back up there. With those guys being angry at me. Alright. I'm going to throw the flare gun practically immediately. Ooh, the page. I thought they saved after you grabbed them. That's weird. We're not going to play it again. Yeah, what the heck? That's weird. Because it didn't say I didn't read it yet. Huh. Alrighty. Turn back now. Okay, at least that time I knew it was coming. There you go. Where are the enemies? What the heck? They just gave up? Do as you're told. Why do you want my wife so much? Oh. Okay, yeah, I thought I had to jump that. Like, why is she obsessed with my wife? Never loved you. Why should we? Okay, that game. The game needs to stop with that, man. Oh. Man. 
did I just destroy? What? Okay, whoa. Checkpoint reached. Cool. That kind of hurt. Flare gun ammo? Okay, I guess I know what I'm using. Destroy the tornado. Am I doing it? You seriously did not just drop that. <gasps> That's a really big leap of faith there. Yeah, that might hurt. <gasps> oh. Shh, baby. You were having a bad dream. It was just another nightmare. No. Everything's fine. You're home. It wasn't a dream. Everything's fine. No. <laughs> Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on! Hours out. There's no light. Come back to bed and I'll make you forget all about your fear in the dark. Hey. My fear? It's your fear. Why aren't you afraid? You're not Alice. Turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Alan, honey, you're still one foot in a dream. You're not making any sense. Come back to bed. With you, I would like to get back to bed, but my objective objective is to find the clicker. So I'm sorry, I cannot. Do you want me to call Dr. Hartman? Some books. I read your manuscript. It's brilliant. Departure is your best work yet. You're a genius. I'm so proud of you. Come back to bed. We'll talk more about it in the morning. You and me going back to bed. What's up with that? The third time being in this apartment. Come back to bed, Alan. Come back to bed, Tom. Clicker? Tom. What you call me? Clicker. Oh, the hell? Okay. Did you like gas for air? What was that? You must find your way to the cabin. It stands in your way. It won't let you pass. It has no heart. It's filled with darkness. It must fill its heart with light. That's a little creepy. Don't mind him. He's Mr. S your friends will meet him when you're gone. Mr. Scratch. Use the clicker. Well, is he gonna take my place? What the hell? 
Telephone poles, shopping, or what does that say? Shopping what? I got a bird. Thermos. <laughs> All right. Barrel. Phone. Shopping cart. I followed the idea of a path. Great. Telephone pole. The TV. The bird. Path. Nothing else back there. I'm leaving you. What? Damn. I'm leaving you, Alan. I met someone. I'm in love with someone else. Alice? No, what do you say? You can't. You don't love me. How could you? You don't even love yourself. All you do is torture yourself with work you can't do anymore. No, I, I love you more than anything in the world. You're you're my muse. I'm not. Who are you? What have you done with my Alice? It wasn't true. Nothing like that had ever happened. Hmm. Divers out. Oh, you're not my Barbara. Tom, you go. I promise to be good. Please, untie me, naughty boy. I will help you write your masterpiece. I will love you forever. No, you're not Barbara Jagger. I made a terrible mistake. I should have never written you back. You came back wrong. Your heart is filled with darkness. Put that knife away, Thomas. Put it down. My heart is filled with darkness. I will. I cut it out. Ah! Ah! I'll take you back to the depths of paper. Jeez. What is happening right now? Darkness. Bird leg cabin. Let me just... Bird. Burr, 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 burr is the word. Alright. Get away from me, you hag! Where am I? Let me go! Damn. Alice, Alice, I'm coming! Your husband refused to do as he was told. All he had to do was write what I wanted. Oops. Where is she? You ugly woman. Now you will never get her back. older than you. A little bit. Older than your first work of art. I will find a new face to wear. Uh, someone else to dream me free. Everything has a price. That's where saying it gone wrong. There's a long journey through the night back into the light. Alice? Jeez. Alice? Oh no! Are 
are you rewriting it all? Like, <laughs> why did she want my wife so badly? There she is. Well, there you go. There you have it, everyone. Alan Wake. So obviously we're not done with this game yet. We have two secret episodes or two special episodes that they released. And we will be doing that. So I really, really wonder how the second game is going to go. But I really enjoyed this very much so. To the point, like I said in the beginning of this video, that I bought the book. <laughs> like, and I'm going to read it even though I played the game. But I really enjoyed this. I really hope you all did too. If there's anything else at the end of this... Actually, you know what? I don't care. We'll have it roll through. All the other episodes have practically been copyrighted with these songs at the end, but... It don't matter anyways. It just sucks because it just blocks it in certain countries. I mean, I could just get rid of the music entirely, but... Now, that's the thing. This was released on the Xbox 360 originally. But this entire game has just been one roller coaster, man. It has its scary moments. The atmosphere is awesome. The music, I love the music. I actually downloaded the uh, soundtrack on Spotify. Obviously, for the year this came out, the graphics aren't the greatest, but obviously that's what happens when you play older games and stuff 
ages and evolves over time. Technology gets better. But regardless, this I would say this still holds up. But it's the story that does it. If you really pay attention to everything that happens in this story, that you're hooked. Like, and you you have you practically have to play how I did it, play it episode by episode. If you sit down and play like 30 minutes and then stop, you're not gonna get the same effect. Because this literally felt like a novel game show movie story type deal like I was anxious I was wanting to get into it again it's like my favorite show is The Walking Dead like The Walking Dead franchise it's like me waiting every Sunday for the next episode to come out I just wanted to wait I couldn't wait for this next episode to come out if you all know what I mean like it's just all done so well and every time you had those visions of the Lady of the Lake there dragging Alice down and those sound effects and whatnot. It was so loud for no reason whatsoever. But it always gave me chills. Like, it gave me goosebumps. Obviously, now, this is the type of horror game that I like. It's dark, it's scary, but you can still see. And there's no, like, random things jumping at you. Those I would classify as very cheap jump scares. Like this, if this was a first person game and you had to deal with everything the same way, then that would be scary because you could turn around and you see it taken right there. But yeah, we have two more videos left to do for Alan Wake here. And then uh, I will be hopping into White Day, by the way. That's the next game that I'll be playing on the channel for October here. And the Evil Within, that's still going on right now. I'm enjoying that game too. I've, I've, I've actually been playing a lot of cool games this October. There have been some duds for the indie games, however, that I'm not too fond of. But regardless, I hope you're all enjoying it because I think I think we're at the halfway point now. I'm, I'm recording this October 11th, by the way. And I think I have this set to come out on the 15th or 16th. Something like that somewhere around there like one or two days maybe off but that's the halfway point practically of October I know there's 31 days but 15 would be like practically half kinda be 15 and a half to make 31 if my math is correct there we all know how my math is though But then Alan Wake 2, it's like so close right around the corner. It sucks too, because they originally changed the date for that, that when that was going to come out. It was supposed to come out October 17th, but they just delayed it by 10 days. I mean, 10 days ain't a lot, but I'm sure they just wanted to fix some stuff, which that's fine with me. I'd rather wait a while for a good game than to get a game like two months apart. That's not good. But obviously they've had 13 years, so... They have a high bar to uh, follow here. But I know they can do it. I have faith in them. And I also want to just say thank you all so much for the support on videos that you've been giving me, like likes and comments. It's, it's awesome seeing that people are engaging and whatnot. Like I've said before, it really does put a smile on my face. I am also thinking of a new way of recording so these videos aren't long because you guys practically have every video of Alan Wake here is like close to an hour and a half to two hours. Like those are pretty long videos. Not a lot of people have a lot of time in their day for that. But I, I wanted to make all my videos here on YouTube like the level like Mario for instance. I did all of World 1 in a video and then World 2. Plants vs. Zombies I did all of the world as well and that i did survival modes and whatnot in separate videos endless and puzzles alan wake obviously i did it episodic because there's six episodes in this game and i did each video for each episode evil within that has chapters i mean those chapters aren't long so that's fine when i start uh hold on i'm a little tired let me go to bed after this
when I start Spyro here in November, I'll, I want to do it by level, like the Artisan Home and then whatever else, and try and get everything. I, I do know where everything is in the game for Spyro, so shouldn't be too bad to find. I've played and beaten the game. I've got 120% in that all the time, so. But I'm thinking of different ways. So it's easy for you guys, but you also get the content from me. If I, I've been thinking of treating my videos like a show. I might make a separate video explaining this. So whoever made it to the end of this, congratulations, you get to hear this beforehand. But I'm thinking of my making my videos like a TV show, length wise. Like 30 minutes to 40 minutes. Normally shows nowadays are 40 minutes to an hour. And then they practically, it's like, it's in between the 40 and 50 minute mark, more than likely. So one thing I might be thinking of doing, like the first episode of each long series, maybe make that one an hour long. Cause it's like a special, right? It's like starting. And then the next one, drop it down to 40 minutes. But then you also have to take into effect how many times am I going to die in this game? How much am I going to have to cut out? I could sit and record for 45 minutes, but let's say I died multiple times in an area that was too hard. Even though, like I said before in my Evil Within video, I'm going to be playing every game from now on on easy mode because I want to just plow through all the games and find as much stuff as I can and just have fun. Not have to worry about dying constantly and getting angry. Games are supposed to be a relaxation, uh, just to relax and whatnot. So I don't care what anyone says. If you say anything nasty, I'll just remove the comment. But I want to just play them on easy and just play the game because I have so many games I want to play. It's not even funny. I don't even think I'll be alive to finish off all these games that I want to play. <sighs> but yeah, I'm thinking of either cutting my videos to 40 minutes I was also thinking maybe doing 30. It's like in between like anime stuff is like 20 minutes and live action stuff is 40. So meet in the middle, like 30 minutes. But then that's an odd number and odd numbers are weird to me. So <laughs> I don't know. It's it's a whole conundrum and whatnot. I'm enjoying just doing it the way like this, but these videos are way long for you all. And like I said, you don't have a lot of time in your day. Like, vast majority of people work. They either go to school. You have other stuff that you want to do. You have friends and family that you want to hang out with. So it's it's trying to find, like, a good medium for everyone. I don't want to turn into, like, a highlight channel. I like showcasing everything for everyone. So everyone gets a little bit of things here and there. Like, if someone, like, my Plants vs. Zombies, if they want to beat, like, level 2-6 or whatever, they can copy my lawn for the most part, like, the plants that I pl pick, and a vast majority of the time, it's going to work. Obviously, there were moments where I messed up and whatnot, but that was mostly an endless. I think I only died once or twice on the main adventure, and that was my own stupid mistake. I don't know, I'll probably make an update video after Spooktober here, explaining a whole bunch of stuff, where to go, where I'm taking the channel from here. I'll figure it all out. I got half the month still, pretty much, to figure, figure my stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing else that I could say about this game. I'd probably give this a solid... 8 out of 10, to be honest with you. I wasn't too finicky on the dodge mechanic. Maybe if I was playing this on a controller, it would have been a little easier. Because this game did originally come out on controller. Like, you have to press shift when you get an attack and dodge at the same time. Press one of the buttons, the WASD keys. And if someone comes behind you, that could be... It has to be, like, quick. You gotta be quick on the ball. I just hope you all enjoyed this, and I can't wait for Alan Wake 2, man. I hope I hope they do this one justice. I've seen the trailer. It, it looks good, though. And I, I've seen, like, early reviews without spoilers that it feels just like this, but different. Which, that... 
That should be gr great, amazing, it's beautiful, fantastic. How long are these credits? Like, geez. I've been rambling here for like a good eight minutes straight. I'm just gonna quickly check here, see if someone has a video on the credits only. Alan Wake credits. 20 minutes. Jeez. That's quite long for credits. I mean, I probably could show this after the special episodes, but might as well show it now since the game's actually done. I don't have to do the special episodes. I don't even know what they are. I've never actually seen them. Now, this wasn't a blind playthrough because I have seen this game a long time ago and I played a little bit of it a long time ago as well. But uh, I have seen a playthrough from beginning to end, but some things were a little foggy that I couldn't remember. But playing this myself, it was fantastic. See, you almost feel like, like your favorite game, a lot of people like, for instance, Red Dead Redemption 2. I have a friend that he loves that game to death and he wishes he can like erase his memory of it and replay it again for the first time. Like this game is some that I would like to do as well. Obviously, like I said, I remembered some bits and pieces. And the same with God of War. God of War is my favorite game franchise. So I will be doing that on the channel, but it's going to be a while till you see the first game. Because I have a little plan, but that won't take effect until 2025. So <laughs> you better be in for the long haul. Man, Night Springs. Oh, I have one more TV to find. I wonder if it was somewhere that I missed. In like an earlier episode somewhere along the line. Man, just one more I had. I enjoyed those two. And I also saw that uh, AMC has the rights to uh, an Alan Wake show. Which I would actually really like to watch that. I don't know when it's going to come out, but... That is some I would definitely most certainly watch. I have a lot of shows that I watch. But I want to kind of hold back on those. But I enjoy them. I enjoy entertainment. Movies especially, like going to the theater and whatnot. It's sad that a lot of stuff is digital. Vast majority of stuff is like available the same day that it's in theaters. Like for instance, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie coming out October 27th. That's going to be a nice day for me. And that's the same day as Alan Wake. But Five Nights at Freddy's the movie... When it's in theaters, it also comes out on the streaming platform Peacock, so you can easily watch it at home. See, but I like going to the theaters. I hate the people that go to the theaters, a vast majority of them, because either they're chewing with um, their mouths open, breathing like they're underwater, being held down by a bunch of chains, or they're talking, or the one thing that really ticks me off is the phone light. Like, there's gotta be a lockbox or some outside the theater that people can just drop off their phones. Like that should be a rule. Like it that ticks me off the most. I'm watching a movie and then all of a sudden I see a flash of light just in my eye in the bottom left and it takes me out of the immersion. Like anyways, I can go on a rant for a long time. I am thinking of doing a podcast by the way, but I don't know what I talk about. Maybe a little bit of everything here and there. I don't know. Like my shows and movies and whatnot. But, I don't know. Oh, is this finally the end? Oh my god. <laughs> a sudden stop written by Alan Wake. Departure written by Alan Wake. Hmm. Alan Wake's journey through the night will continue. Ah. Is that hinting at the, uh... The specials or is that Alan Wake 2 if that's the case took you guys quite a while anyways thank you everyone so much for watching Alan Wake like I said we will be tackling uh, special 1 the signal special 2 the writer but those will be in separate videos for their own so two more videos for Alan Wake and 
Yeah. <sighs> Got somewhat close to everything here. I have no idea. Alarm clocks, cardboard standees, night springs. I have no idea where those are. Like, there's a lot of collectibles in this game, man. I only... I got all the... I didn't get all the chests. I still needed nine more. I got all the radio shows, at least. So that's cool. Signs found. I don't know what that means. Like, signs. Signs for what? But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, Alan Wake here. But we're not done yet. I will see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.